sapphire and illuminous products are being used in a study slash uh, research report by the Chinese Academy of Sciences headquarters. And you can see right here, this paragraph right here, right? So the research used a well-established set of sequencing and mapping tools, right? Including chromosome flow sorting, illumina sequencing, and bionano optical mapping. So the whole thing of this study, I have, I have, I, I, some of this stuff goes over my head, but it's basically a report on a reference sequence for the supernumerary B chromosome, which I, I'm not, I mean, some of you probably understand that better than me, but basically the fundamental reason why we're covering this today is that the optical genome mapping is bio nano right when you hear it now this is a couple of implications implications of this at least in my opinion right so bio nano optical mapping there's no one that really is close to us in what we do and what we're seeing here is more and more illumina uh teaming up and partnerships and there's also a lot of evidence we could do this in a whole nother video but i'll keep it short for you right now and say that the illumina and bio nano partnership slash acquisition acquisition is a little less likely but the partnership is is at least it's more likely than that i don't know if it's likely in general but it's more likely than a, a an acquisition of bio nano a partnership or some sort of deal some sort of something that they work out as far as products or teaming up with a new products right something like that is actually very likely to happen i'm just going to give you a couple reasons right now Number one, the CEO of BioNano really respects Illumina and they think they have a place in the future of genomics, unlike Pat Bio. Number two, the CEO has also said of BioNano that BioNano's technology is specifically a very good compliment quote of Illumina's technology. And I have provided my source for that several times. It's not hard to find. It's a very well-known article. It was from a while ago, but it still, it still is relevant. And we can go over that in another video if you would like Illumina uh, and BioNano buyout chances partnership chances if you want that video let me know if you want that but so basically what you can get i mean we're not going to go through all of this stuff because some of this i just don't feel confident giving you my extrapolation on some of this what some of this means just because i am not i'm not qualified enough or, or I'm, I'm not i just some of this stuff just goes a little bit over my head okay 758 protein coding genes were identified from the 125.9 megabase of i think that's megabase i'm not even sure of chromosome sequence of which at least 88 for our express right it's like i I'm not going to get into this, but what I will get into is their conclusion. This analysis cleverly combines comparisons among a variety of translocation and B deletion stocks along with many years of genetic analysis. This approach provides a unique, and this approach means using optical mapping and Illumina and a few other approaches as well, all to provide a unique view of the sequence of this chromosome as well as the characterization of potentially functional elements within it, right? So what my extrapolation is that not only do you need the sapphire, but you also need other, or not, I mean, I guess you can go either way, but not only do you need one product, but you need others as well, including the sapphire to do studies like this. Because obviously if they didn't need the sapphire, I mean, if, if they use the bio nano optical mapping and it did not have any effect in, in their uh, actual annotation results, right? And, and what they actually got from this, they would have probably said. They did say at the end here, the analysis cleverly combines comparisons, right? A lot, it, it, the approach provides a unique view. BioNano must have a part in that role in, you know, it, there's a role of BioNano, even if it's not going to make everything, you know, obsolete and, you know, completely take 100% of the market share. We can still be making $2 billion in revenue a year in 2030, like uh, like Radnose is projecting, with just being somewhat of a comp somewhat of a complementary, okay, I don't like that word because there's negative implications for it, but somewhat of a complementary technology to Illumina or or made more of an advanced tool maybe but anyways that is this is a new article by the way i should have went over this at the start it was may 31st yesterday no one's been talking about this because it's a little bit of an obscure uh place here thank you so much tristan sean uh is the one that sent this to me on my email thank you so much for that my friend i really appreciate that this is a good find for it for us and uh, i like to see that bio nano sapphire is being used with other methods to find developments in genome analysis and research and discovery research to development diagnostics not that this is what this is really diagnosis but just ensuring and and pr proving more of the con uh, proof of concept of, of why the optical mapping with sapphire is so necessary and essential if you're going to really know if you're going to be a modern day advanced cytogenetic lab or research team or, or chinese academy of, of science he sciences headquarters right whatever it is if you're doing cytogenetics in any way or even even other stuff as well that we can get into at later uh you need a sapphire that is what i'll leave you with today anyways this is not financial advice thank you all so much i'll see you all in the next one